I'm so happy that you're watching me in 2021. This is my first video this year, 2021, and I'm glad because it's a big deal. <laughs> I'm so happy. Happy New Year to you all. I pray to your year of blessing. All the good things you wish yourself. I pray me the Almighty God grant it unto you this year. Yeah, this is my first video I'm releasing this year, 2021. My name is about to drive you. I am back again this year. I promise this is going to be an amazing year for us all. It's going to be an amazing year for me. I claim that to you also in the name of Jesus. It's going to be an amazing year for you and your family. I love you so much. If today is the first time you're watching me talk, my name is Abila Babs. I film videos on relationship, love, and fact about life. So if today is the first time you're watching me, do you want to click on the subscribe button? Yeah. Do you want to click on the subscribe button? And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get the latest video that I release weekly. Okay? So because this year you pray for amazing content i promise you won't regret you coming to my channel you won't regret you subscribing it's going to be back to back back to back fire fire back to back back to back <laughs> you get it so if you're here to subscribe do what to click on the subscribe button do what to click on the subscribe button subscribe 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 and to all my return subscribers Hey, I love you so much. 2021, do well to keep on supporting your girl. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. Yeah, jump right into today's video. What is 2021 video? Yeah, jump right into today's video. Hmm. With everything 2020 did, 2020 was crazy. It was a crazy year. It was a crazy Let's just do a throwback. Okay. Me personally, at some point, my mental health was disturbed, but I'm glad um, I, I could come out of it. I came out of it easily. It was actually not easy, but then I came out of it and I'm so happy. Yeah, I did. I pray for whatever person out there struggling with their mental health, I pray may your Almighty God help you. May your Almighty God help you to come out because I know what I say. It's so, it's so easy. It's so easy. Like, I was down. Like, I was just there. So a lot of people will now ask that what should I do in 2021? What should I do in this new year? <laughs> so I'm just going to share with us four things I should do this year. That even me myself I will do this year. <laughs> so let's go. You know, my one thing I would say you should do this year is put your plants in the presence of God. Put your plants in, in the presence of your creator. Anything you want to do this year with the lesson we learned 2020, 2020, you know that some of us we planned that at some point I'm going out by this time, eh, by this time December, when I finish my exam, I'll be going to another level. But COVID came, we could not do anything. We are all asked to stay at home. So, 2021, just put your plans in the presence of God that God. This year, this is what I want to do. Fine, this is my plan. Let it work out well for me. When should I start this? Is it this month I should start? Or should I start it next month? Put your plans in the presence of God. Let God direct you. Let God direct your path this year because without God in your life, you are nothing. But God without you is still something. So put your plans in the presence of God. It's just like water and fish. Without water, Without water, fish is nothing. So put your put your plants in the presence of God because it's only God that can actually help you. Put your plants, your direction this year. Set your plans in the presence of God. Tell God, God, help me this year. Help me this year. Help me. And it's definitely going to help you. Another thing I'm going to say is stop sitting down your failure. Get up and start doing something with your life. Just say because I have failed this, I failed. 2019, I think 2020, they definitely will try it again this year. Nothing is going to work out. Says you, says you, no, don't do like that. 
get up and start doing something with your life get up and start doing something with the blessing that you carry this is because you feel you will feel that you're going to your life and definitely you keep on feeling things don't work that we keep on trying okay don't give up on yourself get up and start doing something with your life and thing i'm going to say is stop giving excuses the same excuses you made 2018 you made the same excuse 2019 you made the same excuses 2020 now 2021 you want to keep on making that same mistake it's a lie god will not allow that to happen you really need to stop making excuses that eh, and i want to do it though no do it now what if, if i do it what will people say are you serious right now or oh, okay i will i will start it when when i get the books the materials that i need uh, you will not start anything you won't start anything for those of you that even want to start a youtube channel start i'm going to tell you to start even me when i wanted to start a youtube channel i was like i want to get my camera i want to get something i want to get something but someone was telling me that Bella, you will not start anything do you have the money to get a camera now you won't start anything just start the little things that you have available with you don't start saying eh, i want to get everything available see time is going and time Time is actually not waiting for anyone. You don't know how much time you have left. It's just like, you know, time is like a river. You can't touch the same water twice because the flow that has passed will never, you will never touch that same flow again because it has passed. Time is like a river. So the flow that has gone already, you cannot touch it again because it has passed. So time is like a river. You need to start working on your life. Stop giving excuses. You don't know how much time you have left. So this year stop making excuses don't make silly mistakes get your life in as much you cannot drive a parked car you can't drive a parked car get your life out of the back and start doing something the direction of your life start doing something the direction of your future don't sit down and say hey and i'm planning to i'm planning to actually think maybe it's your workout no get out of your get out of the park get your life out of the park and I pray with Almighty God help me. Another thing I'm going to say this year is be happy, oh God. Be happy with yourself. Be happy with the things that you do this year. Don't just be there saying hey, things are not working well. No, be happy. Take yourself out. Go out for vacation. Like make yourself happy. Be intentional about being happy this year. Last year you didn't have to, have to take care of yourself. Take yourself to spa. Take care of yourself. Take care of your skin. Take, if people are not taking you out, you take yourself out. You deserve it. You deserve to be happy. So be intentional about happiness this year. And the last thing I'm going to be saying is self doubt. See, if you are looking for a chief executive officer of people who doubt themselves, just come and carry me. Because I used to doubt myself that would I be able to do this? Would I be able to do this? And let me even give you the scenario of self-doubt. It's a killer. It's tormenting. It drains you. You just be drained gradually, gradually. Now, this is the scenario I was talking about. So, you put on a coat. Imagine yourself putting on a coat or a jacket. Then someone is with you. Then you tell the person to tie your wrist together. Then the person leaves you. Then imagine yourself removing your jacket with your hand, with your wrist tied. Is it possible? It's definitely not possible for you to remove your jacket because your wrist are tied together. That's what happens when you struggle believing yourself. That's what happens when you don't believe in the kind of person that you are. That's what happens when you don't believe in the in the in the potential that you carry. You don't you don't know the kind of gifts that you yourself you carry. And guess what? If you don't know the gifts that you carry, you cannot be a gift to your world. I mean to say again. If you don't know the kind of gifts that you carry, if you don't believe in it, you cannot be a gift to your world. Do what you can do and allow God to do what you cannot do. This year, do what you can do. You personally do what you can do and allow God to do what you can do. If you really enjoyed this video, you can do it. Let me know down in the comment section. Like I said, that this year is going to be an amazing year. I must say, it's going to be an amazing So if you have any suggestion, like anything you want me to post, anything you want me to show about this year, you can just do it. Let me know down in the comment section. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it, I promise. If you like this video, you can do it. Let me know by clicking on the like button and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. I will see you again in my other videos that I'll be making that will be hot hot. Like I said earlier, do what you can do this year and allow God to do what you cannot do. I love you. Have an amazing year ahead of you.